Well, it's commonly called the world slam, and the six species of turkeys are the Osceola, that's found in Florida, the eastern turkey, which of course, like it sounds, is mostly found on the eastern part of the United States, the Rio Grande turkey, which is found mostly in the state of Texas, the Miriams, which is found in quite a few of the western states, it's also the Goulds, that's usually found in Arizona, I think parts of New Mexico and Mexico, as well as the oscillated turkey. And that one's found most commonly in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Well, for the Grand Slam, or the four most common birds, which is the Osceola, the Eastern, the Rio Grande, and the Miriams. Now, what's really cool is that those are more common birds. They're easy to go out either by yourself or with a buddy without having to pay an outfitter. So I was able to go relatively inexpensive for all those if you take out the cost of travel. So now I'm going to take you on some of my favorite hunts for all six species of birds. Well, for this Osceola, I was down in Florida. That's where the Osceolas are found, and the line is drawn somewhere around Jacksonville, Florida. If it's south of that, it's usually considered a true Osceola. These swamp birds are totally unique and not like any other turkey. A lot of them to me seem pretty similar, but the Osceolas that a lot of times live in the swamps, that's a totally special bird. I think they're one of the tougher birds because they're only found in Florida, and I think they tend to get a lot more pressure than some of the other birds. Well, using a blind gives me a huge edge when I'm trying to harvest a turkey with a recurve bow. So, it's all about decoys, calling softly, and setting up properly if you're gonna be successful on an Osceola. Look at that beautiful gobbler. Look at that. Man, that's just a, that's just a gorgeous swamp bird. I call a few times and this huge gobbler runs in and starts attacking the decoy. <laughs> He's down! Is that him right there? He's down right there! He's right here, look at this! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards! Seven yards to the decoy! He knocked him off his stake, knocked him over, and look at my bird right here! Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Look at that arrow in the chest. Recurve, big Osceola turkey. Look at the rope on this guy. That's probably almost a 10 inch beard on that Osceola turkey. And that arrow is right through his chest. Look at his snood here. That's the snood right there. And look at how far that bad boy's hanging down. Beautiful blue, fluorescent blue. Look at the hooks on that guy. That is one beautiful bird. Well, I've been fortunate what? enough to take a few different Osceolas with my recurve, but I wanted to take them all. <laughs> I love calling, I love working birds in, I like birds decoying in, and I really like shooting them with my recurve. There's just something about bringing a bird in and hitting a super small kill zone with a recurve bow that gives me a lot of pride. Well, in Colorado, I've harvested quite a few Miriams. I've also shot them in Nebraska as well. But Nebraska has a lot of hybrids, and Colorado does too, depending on how far east you go. But when you're hunting birds up in the mountains, 7,000 to 9,000 feet, well, you're usually getting the true Miriams with the beautiful white tail feathers. So some of my favorite Miriam's hunts have been in Colorado. Couple jigs, young jigs, just eat it up. Oh, thank you. See if you can lift it up both. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. You know, it was an awesome hunt. I was with my son, and it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. <laughs> When this big Jake comes walking up to the decoy, I knew if he gave me a shot, well, I was gonna take it. Just gotta turn. 
turkey. That's how you smoke a bird. <laughs> Look at that. A bird didn't make it anywhere. That was awesome. We got on it. Sun's just starting to come up. Look at this view. Look at the view right here. Does it get any better than that? That's Colorado turkey honey. Miriam's turkey, southern Colorado. And those birds came right into the decoy. We had two hands. One of the hands puffed up. <laughs> I was like going all after the decoy. You gotta love an arrow, especially in the eastern axis, covered in turkey blood. What's cool about the Miriam's turkey, and that's what we have in a lot of Colorado. Parts of Colorado have hybrids where they're kind of a cross between either a Rio Grande or an Eastern that have been moved in and relocated to Colorado. But this is a natural bird. This is a bird that's kind of indigenous to this area. The really white, white tail feathers um, is indicative of a Miriam's turkey. And that is just gorgeous. That's a gorgeous bird right there. Well, these gobblers are coming right in. They get about 25 yards, and it's almost like they're like, boy, there's an awful lot of gobblers hanging out over here. There's a Montana decoy that's full strut. I've got a strutter set up. So you can see those birds are like, mm, well, let's just circle around a little bit. So at 25 yards, approximately, they start circling around the blind. I'm going crazy. I'm like, there's no way I'm not gonna shoot one of these birds. I've got them right in front of me. I'm gonna make this happen. And as soon as it hits, I know he's not gonna carry it far. The bird makes it about 75 yards, flops a few times on the hill, and it came over. Oh, awesome. What is that? Recurve. Whack! How cool is that? I may even have it on my camera on my head. Did you see that? He's down. Right Smoking, there. Dude. So cool. We're sitting at about 7,000 feet in the mountains, big pretty Miriams, and that bird is down right there. Look at that beautiful bird. Look at that. Man, it just gets your heart pounding, doesn't it? Here's a beautiful bird I just shot. Here's where we set up, mountains in the background. Just absolutely gorgeous, really cool to watch those birds come in. I think it was just too much for them. You know, two, two strutters, I had my stuffer, I had my Montana decoy, and they were like, oh man, something's going over there. We're missing a party pretty cool. We're going to have a beautiful trophy to put on the wall. I'm going to have this one done because it's a pretty cool bird. Andy's going to have his done as well. And we'll have some delicious turkey meat to enjoy. Well, the Miriams are a lot of fun to hunt, but I'll tell you the Rio Grandes might be one of my favorites just because they're such vocal birds. In Texas, there's a ton of them. And that's where the majority of the Rio Grandes are found. To hunt Texas and hear those birds just hammering away, it is absolutely awesome. Luring a big old gobbler in Texas, brush and cactus everywhere, doesn't really seem like where you'd find a turkey. But that's where those Rio Grande birds go home. Michelle was running the camera and we had a gobbler. I'm talking so close, I probably could have reached out and hit it in the head with an arrow. I ended up shooting this beautiful gobbler and I had my Rio down. You got him. Stay on it. Got him. Got him. Oh man. <laughs> That's two real grand turkeys here in Texas. Yeah. Hunt with my wife. That was awesome. Good job, yeah. video. It was so cool because all the work was over. And he started strutting. Look at that beautiful bird. 
<laughs> Look at that beautiful Rio Grande Gobbler. You know, anything's a trophy. We've always felt that. I would have taken the first bird I had a shot at. And uh, this one ends up, looks like he's got about a eight inch beard or so. But he is just a beautiful Rio. Look at all the, uh, look at all the uh, strut marks here. My arrow went through the leg and through the chest here. Let me turn him. Oh my gosh. Can you see the hook on that bird? Holy smokes. Can you see that? Look at the size of the spurs on that Rio. That is a big, big gobbler. Look at that with my Hoyt Buffalo. Easton Axis Arrows, a muzzy broadhead, and that is a beautiful bird. The Eastern Turkey, I've definitely had some great hunts for as well. The very first one I took was with my buddy Mark Land from Muzzy Broadheads. We had an absolute blast. Again, we chose a blind to hunt out of, and when this Jake showed up in the rain, well, I certainly wasn't gonna pass it. Dude, I smoked him. I smoked him. I smoked my Easter mark. I smoked him, buddy. <laughs> oh, I think he's done, dude. I think he's done. He's hit hard. I think he's done. Ready? I see some feathers, baby. <laughs> I see some feathers. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he is, my first Eastern. I am just excited as heck. I needed this bird. Um, because I, I really had a blast chasing all the different species and uh, needed an Eastern to have the, uh, the four and just can't be, can't be more excited. It's just an awesome hunt. Um, he's got about a four inch beard, just awesome. Now since then, I've taken some beautiful Easterns that were some bigger birds, like one I took with my buddy Wright, also in Georgia. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Awesome morning. Appreciate you taking us out here to Georgia. I've taken them in Arkansas and a couple other states as well. But I'll tell you, those Easterns, they could be a pretty tough bird as well because they get a lot of pressure. And once I had all four species, I wanted to go get a Goulds and I wanted to go get an Oscillator. Well, for my gold turkey, I booked a hunt with Brad Folk of Rio Sonora Outfitters in Mexico. Talk about an awesome place. I had an absolute blast. <coughs> Did I shoot a huge Goulds? Nope, but I shot the first Goulds that gave me a shot. Yeah, he's going down. The bird didn't go anywhere, and I was pretty excited to have my first goulds on the ground. Down in seconds. Goulds turkey. Recurve. That is so awesome. We were calling this morning, had some birds coming in. This bird came around. I've got a Montana decoy out there. That bird just died right past the Montana decoy. That is so awesome. Really cool hunt for me. My wife was filming and, well, it was a pretty cool adventure. They're beautiful birds. They're huge. And even though I shot a younger bird, it was an absolute giant. They're big, tall, heavy, and they may be the biggest out of the six species. Look at the size. Look at the size of these Gould's turkeys. They're huge. I mean, granted, this is a Jake, but look at the size. Look at the size of this bird. What's kind of cool is this beautiful Goulds gives me the Royal Slam, I think they call it, with a recurve bow. That means Osceola, the Rio, the Eastern, the Miriams, and the Goulds. 
and I've taken the, I think it's called the slam, I've taken the uh, four species, which is the Osceola, the Eastern, the Rio, and the Miriams. I've taken that like five times, but I had never taken a Gould's. Really excited to be out here. I'm with Rio Sonora, Brad. I'd already warned him. I said, uh, don't get me wrong, I'd love to shoot one of your giant triple bearded monster birds, but if a Jake comes in first, I'm probably gonna kill him. And that's exactly what I did. Well, the last one on my quest was the oscillated turkey. That's the one that to me doesn't even really look like a turkey. They look kind of crazy, a little more like a peacock, but I wanted one really bad. It was super hot in the jungle, and I was having a hard time getting a bird in range. I saw a ton of them out in the field, but it was hard to get one within recurve range. I moved my blind and Montana decoy quite a few times, but I finally set up in some thick brush with my guide, and we were sitting in there sweating. I had the Montana decoy out, and when this beautiful male oscillated turkey came by, well, let's just say my heart was pounding just a little bit. Dude, I got him. Hold on. One shot and this bird flipped and dropped. The guy, he was as excited as I was. It was the first one he had ever seen shot with a bow and especially with a recurve bow. He thought it was just awesome and so did I. This whole trip's been incredible with all the different animals we've seen and even the stuff that Arturo's been catching on his stealth cameras. Um, jaguar, tapers, uh, just animals that I've only seen in books, um, including the oscillated turkey. So that's what's been really fun for me is getting to experience something totally new, totally different. Um, it just doesn't get any better than that. And to take one with my with my new Hoyt Satori recurve uh, that I helped design. Pretty exciting to, to uh, see it come to fruition with a beautiful bird here in the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula.